What's going on guys? Adam again back with the Tama Garage and today today we're going to try again to get this car started. Coming up in this video. Drop that intro. You know guys, I don't know if this thing going to start and I really do hope it does. I need it to start. But we're gonna go ahead and try and start it. It's been on this battery charger for a while. It's not on battery boost because I was just trying to charge the battery. Now we're gonna try it. So let's see what happens. Got the key. Woo. Let's see what happens. Well, it doesn't sound like it's low on power. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I've been keeping the car on the charger and we know that it's been starting just fine without, I mean, you know, with it, with the charger being off and everything. But right now, man, I am going through everything to see why it won't start, what's causing it to not start. The only thing that I'm thinking is that maybe I have this uh, cam sensor and the crank sensor reversed uh, on the little octopus that I uh, took out. So I'm gonna go under the car and change that around. Then I'm going to try and crank it and see if I can get it to start. So let's see if uh, that will do anything. So you probably can't really see it, but it's right around there is where the octopus I have is. And I'm going to try and switch those two around, then try it again and see what happens. If it don't happen, I'm tapping out quite honestly. I'm, I'm tapping out and I'm going to go ahead and maybe drop it off at a shop or something. So guys, what I have learned is that those two plugs are not interchangeable. They go where they're supposed to go and I learned that the hard way. Uh, truth of the matter is I made the situation better and worse. I made it better by getting rid of the squid up top, but then I made it worse with these two plugs. So I don't know if I really made any decent progress. But anyway, they're back connected. I'm gonna find a better way of dealing with those when it's the supercharger time. But for right now, I just wanna see about getting this car started. So I'm gonna reconnect the battery and then we're gonna go back up top and try again. Ooh, so to be honest with you guys, full transparency, this thing has been kicking my butt. Like it rained pretty good and I stayed out, got wet and muddy and everything like that, just trying to work on it. And I'll be completely honest with you, this car is beating me into submission. I'm at a point now where if it doesn't want to start, honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is loading it up on the trailer, take it to the BMW specialty shop in Columbia, which is about 50 minutes away from me leaving it there and for however long it takes just i'm just gonna tell them to fix it if this doesn't do it so i'm just hoping that we can make some good out of all of the work that i have done but let's see take number 79 clutch in will it help if i give it some gas Let's see. Nope. Same thing it was doing before. Oh, oh got making making it rain sand for the back of my head. You know, guys, I don't know. Honestly, this car has beaten me and fought me every step of the way, and. I have done everything I can. I, I don't know what I am missing to make it not start. And maybe I just need a fresh pair of eyes to just look at the car 
and see what's going on with it from a different perspective. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've done a bunch of electrical work and everything that I've replaced according to the testing that the manual gives, they're bad. So I replace it. But it comes to a certain point that everything can't be bad. Every sensor can't be bad. Every electrical part can't be bad. So what now? I don't know. I don't know. And I have also joined uh, forums, which I don't like forums. I, I hate forums, to be honest with you. Because it's full of a lot of people who, if you don't do it their way or take their opinion, then everybody wants to yell and shout and scream and scream, you know, profanity and stuff. And that, that doesn't do anything. And there's so much wrong information that it's hard to trust the right information because everybody spreads the wrong information. As like, if you don't know how to fix it or if you don't know the answer, don't say nothing. Or if you want to give a educated guess, say that, but then say, hey, I'm guessing. I don't know. So that's just that's just a little rant I've got. I'm even on the Facebook groups as well. And they've been a little more helpful. But again, the main thing that I get from them is uh, just take it to a dealership. Just take it and get it taken care of. So I'm not going to take it to the dealership, but I will take it to a BMW uh, specialized shop in Columbia which is about a, less than an hour away from me. I'm gonna take it there and I'm gonna tell them, just fix it, just take care of it. I don't wanna see it until it's running. And then after that, I can pay it and I can drive it home and be done with it. At least for this troubleshooting part. It's just so many things, different things and quirks with this BMW that I'm not used to seeing. And I've worked on Ford, Chevy, Dodge a little bit, not, not, not too much. Uh, Toyota, Nissan. I, I've worked on so many different things. It's just this just seems a little be a little weird. So I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I don't know what else to do. A little upset, a little angry, and I'm tempering it. I'm kind of tailing it back. My wife knows how upset and angry I am, but there's nothing else I can do about it. So I'm gonna see about getting the trailer and dropping this off. You may or may not see a video during this time period. I don't know. Maybe I'm just upset right now, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.